Hello there. This is Isix. Once again with the Kerbal Space Program. Woo! I'm here in the Vehicle Assembly Building, enjoying the funky tones of the producers of the music for Kerbal Space Program. And today I am going to launch another probe. This time it's going to be a little different. See, we got the new probe head here with the, um, what, what's the name of it here? The Probodyne OKTO. OK for takeoff, I guess? I got some little antennas up there. I got my solar panels. I got inline battery. I got usual sciencey type things. But look at this. Got my RCS and now lander legs. And there's a um, engine in there to hopefully allow us to land. I have no idea if it's going to work or be sufficient, but we'll see. Then we got some sort of orbital maneuvering type rockets to get us to our destination. They have their own antennas for deep space observations. We also have these fins here. They're kind of pointless in space, but going up they might be useful. And they're the good kind now, so they're going to hopefully wiggle about as need be. Then we get the real meat of the deal. To get this sort of assembly up, we got some sort of series of rockets. We got big ones, we got little ones, and I just realized I forgot to test the staging for this. But, yeah, I'll just toss these down here. Hopefully. Come on, Carmel Space Program. It's not that hard to offend nature and stuff. Where is this? This is right there. Uh, we want all of these to go simultaneously, so... Don't know what just happened there. Um, I'll be right back with you while I get the staging sorted out. Okay, the staging should be sorted out now. And... It's actually a lot fewer stages than I thought. So you got, well, you got this to get us lifted off and all these engines fire. Then you peel off the solid rocket boosters, then the big sort of outer boosters here. Then all of these are attached structurally. So it's not actually a separatrix type thing. And all of these are coupled there. Unfortunately, it takes forever just to freaking scroll up this thing. And finally, you got this here with the upper engine and all that. So, let's see if we can get this thing even to orbit. Uh, when we're in orbit, we'll just set, figure out where we want to send it. Uh, might just send it to Minmus, might send it somewhere else. Well, we'll, we'll see. It'd be kind of cool to have all sorts of probes everywhere. I know it doesn't do well in the atmosphere, because this is the... Rob, you know, you know, you know, robots lander uh, one, the or Robo's ladder uh, lander one. Ugh, I can talk today. Surely I can. Uh, and the, the, I did. Oh, oh. Never mind then. So did those just not attach? They just sort of fell off. Hmm. Let's observe the materials bay. Hooray, science! <laughs> Alright. So that didn't work so well. I need to figure out what's wrong here. Yeah. That wasn't supposed to happen, guys. So, obviously, something's wrong. I'll be back at some point here. Um, but until then... And I think I figured out what's wrong. The connectors here were like embedded inside the tank somehow, so it was like connecting on the lip in a funny fashion. They're a little better now, but it might implode again. Great, and they're now off to the side, aren't they? That would make a definitely different rocket design. Oh, 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 oh. Get these lined up. That better? Kinda? Sorta? Eh. We'll give it a try. Hmm. Don't 
really feel like having to sort out lots of craziness today. Just want it to work, yo! Right, that's there, that's there, that's there. Same with those. All of those seem to be in the right place. And finally, this one is there. Okay. We're going to try this again. Um, let's clear off the uh, lander. Yeah. About that. Hmm. Now, remember, I have no idea, assuming this thing doesn't fly apart on the landing pad, this thing will be able to make it to orbit. There's plenty of power, hopefully. But you know how these things go. Yeah, about that. Hmm. Alright. Holy crap. This thing is... I'm not sh even sure what's going on anymore. It's like breaking its physics. Oh well, that means we got to fire it up. Three, two... One. SPACE! Yeah, it's like it's not connected real well right there. Ooh. We're actually making good acceleration. We Sure, we're kind of veering off to the side a little bit, technically. And I have no idea why that is. But if we can punch through the lower atmosphere in good time, this thing might actually be workable. Cool. Huh. Wasn't expecting that. Hmm. So yeah, um, important things to note, this thing, when it hit the, the probe part of it at least, when it hits the atmosphere, likes to point its top down. So it's a good missile, I guess, but definitely not going to be able to land it on a planet with an atmosphere. So Duna, Eve are out. Hmm, so I might be able to like send it off to Moho or something like that. Maybe even Minmus. Actually Minmus would be a lot easier. Goodbye, solid rockets. They're still climbing. Sort of. Slowly slowing down. That's not good. And... Oh, maybe we're breaking even now. Yeah, we're we're starting to accelerate again. That's good. So we might be able to make it after all. Excelsior and crap. Um, while that's doing that, I'm going to zoom in a bit so we can sort of get a feel of what's going on. Good, good. Hmm. We're going to dump off the outer tanks at some point here and have a little bit left over in the main ones. But hopefully we'll be well on our way to an orbit before we have to resort to the maneuvery rockets up here. Because uh, I've, I've definitely learned that you need to keep the top bit of your whatever as light as possible. And just sort of spread out the stuff you fire all at once when you're getting to orbit. Now this does, do, does kind of beg the question of, you know, if I get to like Eve or something like that, how the heck am I going to get off that planet? Because I mean, really, it's like... Super dense atmosphere and just all sorts of problems happen. Okay, I'm going to start. Hopefully, not flying apart. So I turn to the side slightly and then it bounces back. Goes back to the side a little bit. Alright. Well, we're, we're not quite to the gravity turn essential spa stage yet, but it's getting a little bit to the nudge that way. A good thing, I think. The sun comes up. I'm going to check my thermometer, I think. Hmm. I can send it down. Because remember, this is a probe, so we can't actually take anything down unless we have parachutes on it, which I did not include, because why? Why not? Or why would I need such things? It's a silly thing. Alright, we're, we're getting... We're actually going to make... I think we're going to make it to orbit. That's, that's pretty cool. Of course, it's all wobbly and stuff, so... But I think when we get rid of the sort of outer stages here, we'll be 
in good shape for. Well, exploding, I guess. Um, that wasn't supposed to happen. Let's check our barometric pressure again, just to be sure. <laughs> Uh, we'll go ahead and do the materials bay, because why not? Because science is awesome. Get us some goo, get us a bunch of goo, totally use up the goo, and wow, this is a disaster and a half. Um, I guess I can try to spin it, maybe? And we're s very quickly slowing down. So, I've never had the middle part of a rocket explode like that before. Hmm. So that's definitely a new one. And... I guess, technically, it's now all staged out. Hmm. Well, that was interesting. Atmospheric pressure can't scan right now. We still can get temperature, but it's kind of useless. What's the materials bay like? It's tumbling. So, I think I'm going to call this one a disaster. Um, and I'm just going to sort of let it go its thing. So, I will see you when we're done crashing. Um, yeah. And we're back. I've taken out the sort of nose, uh, the cone part here, so I've lowered this section down, put a lot more struts in pretty much everywhere, and hopefully we're ready for another test. Yeah. Not sure what else I could do, really. Except maybe dance! I mean, um, yeah. I think... Yeah, I think I'm going to actually toss on a few more batteries. Uh, at least on the this portion here. If I can. Apparently, it's not letting me. Am I in the way of something? Zooming in takes so freaking long. Come on, it won't let me put it on there. Weird. Oh well, I don't really need them. At least I don't think I do. I did get a little bit more science on the way down, but you know. You know how it goes. Science here, little science there. Hmm, I want to put one more here. There we go. So hopefully we are ready for another try at launching. Now, I don't even know if this lander portion will, like, work at all. So, eh. Take with that, like, you may or something, eh? Whew! Launching rockets is hard. Let's do math! I mean, uh... <laughs> Alright, well, we're not bouncing around too late yet, but it's not fully simulated. Alright, so, pretty sure something, like, snapped previously. This thing really doesn't like that centralized thing we jig there. Uh, thinker staging's still good. Three, two, one, morning launch! Did I leave any rockets behind? No, okay. Don't think I had. Always kind of wor worry about that. It's happened to me way too often for me to even, even believe it's possible anymore. But, you know. But that was before I started doing the Let's Play, mainly. The dreaded, oh, everything looks good. Why aren't my engines firing? Oh, that's because they're on the ground, not be under my rocket. Hmm. Doo -doo. Yeah, get my shindig loader up. Might as well take a tre temperature measurement. If it will let me. There we go. 
pressure. Still getting material study points, that's good. Go ahead and do that again just in case. Get rid of those. We're halfway up the thick part of the atmosphere. Gauging full throttle. Am I going faster than I was before or slower? I don't quite remember. Hmm. Oh well, at least I'm accelerating, right? Doo -doo -doo. Let's try another temperature measurement. Eh, that's kind of useless. Same with barometric pressure. Goo, I'm all gooed out pretty much. pretty much everywhere near the Kerbal, Kerbin planet here, so I'm not going to worry too much about that yet. It is kind of useful to get a whole bunch of it at once by having all the canisters. Hmm. More materials. And we start... There we go. This is a lot less... Oh, uh, no, uh, wavy so far. Slight tilt. Should be good. Now, I don't do heavy uh, liftoff like this that often. And, well, it's a good reason. It's really, really kind of tricky, because there's a lot that can go wrong, and there's a lot of thrusting and things like that going on, and haha, <laughs> innuendo. I mean, uh, <laughs> it's tricky, you see. Hmm. We get the sunrise. But the planet below is still dark. Yeah, good, good. It's a slowly increasing the time to have oasis. Apelions. Helio Maga. I don't know where I'm going with this. Another slight turn. Because why not? Let's te check our temperature. Okay, that's useless. Same with Browner. Materials, do you have anything new? Kind of, not really. Hmm, we're about to run out of fuel for here. So far, so good. We have not destroyed ourselves yet. A little bit more of a turn. Entering the upper atmosphere. Check the bay. Check the temperature. Check the pressure. Alright. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, we're getting, we're getting there now. Alright, and off with those. I can actually throttle down a bit. We're going to start our tilt, our full tilt to orbit, because we are now in space! How's our materials doing? Hmm, good, good. And we got space music, too! And we're still climbing there. I'm going to cut off the engines entirely, because they're just nothing but trouble right now. Turn on the RCS. Don't really need it too much right now. Just want to get a little bit more to the side. And then we're going to fire the engines up full on again. And hopefully enter orbit. Hooray! Alright. Ready, steady, go. One moment. Alright. Sorry, my phone started doing weird stuff. That's why I don't like having it around. It causes me problems. Alright, I can actually... Like... Drift up 
for a while without having to worry about firing the engines, because we got such a high spit of bit of spot there. Hmm. Let's actually fast forward slightly. So we're about 30 seconds out. Maybe a little, maybe more than that. We'll stop here. By the way, the, the, my phone is freaking out because my brother gave me a text message from a number I did not recognize. <sighs> Scandalous, I know. Anyway, engine fire activate! Now we are going to try to get into a full orbit, because this is actually a very good place and very good height to do this with. Hooray! Everyone loves orbits. Destination orbit! We're still climbing slightly. Yeah, this will be this will be an easy orbit. Now that my rocket's not exploding for no reason. Hmm. Do -do -do. Hmm. So, how's everybody doing? I'm sending a a, a probe into space. How about you? How you? What, what do you have to? And we are now orbital. Pretty good one, too. Okay. So, now that we're all orbited up, really, really high one, too, relatively, uh, we should try to figure out what we want to probe today. So, let's go through their planetary bodies. There is the, the sun, of course. Kerbal, as it's often t said by the Folks of the wiki community society place thing. We got this baby here. Our delightful is this Moho, I think. And we got Eve. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to land on Eve. And there's Gilly. Just a little tiny itty bitty rock near Eve. We got Kerbin, of course, and the Moon, and Minmus. Little itty bitty little rocks. Then we got Duna, which is like Mars, but also the set of a Frank Herbert book, I guess. Then Ike, which is a big rock out there by Duna. Then we got Drez, which is, I believe, on its own. Hmm. And we got Jewel, of course, where we've already sent our probe by. Then Lath, which unfortunately has an atmosphere, but also a liquid ocean, which is pretty cool. Uh, we got Val. It's like Valhalla, but different. It's all moony and rocky. And Tylo, which is sort of like Callisto, perhaps. And Bop. It's not like Hail Bop, but different. And Pool, which is like a walnut, I guess. And Elo, it's a frozen world on the far side of the cosmos. And we got our lander, we got the sun again, Moho, and we we'll go back through there. Now, Tylo, Bop, Pool, Elo, and our lander. Let's go back. So which one do we want to go to today? Well, hmm. Well, since it's here... Let's and you know all that fun jazz. We're we're gonna try for our buddy Minmus. Minmus, talk to me, Minmus. There we go. Set his target. Okay, so I'm going to do the whole maneuvering setup thing here. So um, I'll be with you in a moment. Again, and I think I have something. Fortunately, it passes really close to the moon, so I'm not... And actually uses the moon to uh, sort of get back to the right general orbital plane as Minmus pops in. So we're going to see if we can pull this off. Now, we are going to need a 28-second burn with our very dark spacecraft. I don't think we have enough fuel for that, so it might be a little misleading. 
We're going to slowly try to get our way over to our correct orientation, if we can even find it. Maybe? Perhaps? Perhaps it's way off kilter. Eh, this is something here, I guess. Ah, there it is. I should have gone the other way. Oh, well. That's how it always seems to go. So, no, no, no. Stop. Stop. I should be paying more attention, shouldn't I? Why am I spinning now? I have plenty of electric charge. Alright, slowly. Slowly, slowly. Hmm, let's get this lined up, yo. Next time on Izix Rocketry Theater. Watch Izix do science in space. Hopefully, if I turn those babies on, and get us more properly aligned. Oh, no, 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 no. Check our reserves. Yeah, we're doing fine. Yeah, we got a little bit of time to wait. So, while we do that, all things seem to be good shape. Go ahead and start fast forwarding. Yeah, that's that's pretty spot on actually. This is a complex maneuver that will require all sorts of science. We watch us flip around the planet. Now I did have to fast forward a little bit, but part of the delay in time in game was actually caused from the no uh, when the maneuver kept leading itself. It's like what the hell, what the hell, man? Has to be a better way to sort of select maneuvers than clicking on them like that. Okay, just give us a slight boost up, boost down, and we are pretty close. Now I do want to spin a little bit. Why? Tobes! I mean, um, why not? Because I like to be lined up on that 90. Sure, I'm backwards when I like usually like to be, but it's okay. Right on the money. Just a couple more taps. There we go. Fast forward a little bit more. So, in a few moments, we'll be firing these engines, and hopefully, the fuel will get us most of the way to where we need our burn to be. And yeah, so I'm going to start this off at the 14 mark. Three, two, one, go! Now we need a little bit more time here. Because we're going to Minmus! Yay! Whew, this is always the part I get worried about. Could end up like flying into the moon. Just a little bit. Gets you a long way. Okay. So that's. Okay, that's 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 fantastic actually. I'm gonna do a slight adjustment. Why? Why not? Okay, so I will be coming out a little hot, but I think I can deal with that. In fact, I'll be coming in almost straight at the thing. But we can, we can live. Can't we? All together? In harmony. 
I think we can. Just listen to that music build and things. It's, it's delightful, isn't it? Anyway, I will be back with you when we're a little closer. Or perhaps when we do the moon flyby, we'll see. And we're back, and we're about to do one of our moon passing, I guess. Let's check on our sciencey things. No pressure, so we can't get any of that. We can get lots of goo sample stuff, though. Yay! Goo feels right at home. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, right. So I will probably think about doing some more maneuvering when I'm on my final approach, but probably not until then. Ah. <sighs> Super Probe! And the Happy Probe? Way out there. I am becoming an interstellar... interplanetary... inter... intergalactic civilization, I say. Hey, let's do a quick flyby, shall we? Hello, Moon. How you hanging? Uh, we'll probably need the rest of this fuel to get things maneuvered near Minmus. I don't technically need to land in order to get all the stuff I need, but science, it's, it's, it's better if you get closer in, right? Hello, Moon. I'm going over your North Pole. Can I get any more different data here, I wonder? Come on, Science Bay. There you go. Hmm, sort of, I guess? Hmm. Oh well. Onward to adventure! Goodbye, Moon. I'm not the f most distant object yet, but I'm probably one of the more complicated ones. One with the most fuel, actually. And we have this sort of semi-Star Wars-ish type music playing. Isn't there a... Does this mean I'm going to crash into this thing? Cool, that works. Hmm. Anyway, I'll be back when I'm a little closer to Minimus. Ah, yes. Here we are, about to enter Minimus space. Let's check our material bay. We're still technically, I think, in Kerbin land, or Kerbal, Kerbin, Kerbinate land. Yes. Yes, over Kerbin. So we're not quite in Minmus domain yet. Let's speed her up a little bit. No, oh, we can do better than that. Okay, we are now officially in Minmus space. Oh, seems to glow. That's pretty standard for this kind of thing. Ooh, yeah, goo feels right at home. Look at that goo. Those don't really do anything right now. Get a little bit more of that. And get all sorts of science going. Now, in a moment, I will actually spin the rocket around. Actually, I can start doing that now. So I can get a good bead on the, what you call it, um, trying to enter an orbit of some sort. Yeah, yeah I, I was a little worried that the moon sort of being where it is would cause me problems. It ended up actually helping. Hooray! Ooh, let's get more. More science! So I think I'll probably unlock something new with all this. Uh-oh, we're running out of electric charge. So this will take us a little bit of time and energy, but while it's getting that sorted out, let's go ahead and start slowing our, our velocity here. Let's see if we can get an orbit on. Ignore the flying purple line. It's not important. Yeah, oh. Went a little too far, I think. 
All right, let's So are we still in Minmus land here? Let's do some science. Yes, we're definitely Minmus land. But we need to be... Nope, nope, no, 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 no. Not going that way. We want to target the moon. That one specifically. Okay. So we are now going to be entering an insertion orbit of this funky little body. I think that's a good good thing. While well, we're here, and building up electric charges, we can keep doing some science, because we can put our differences aside for science. Hmm. Should have brought more batteries. Oh well, next time, eh? So I'm gonna adjust this a little bit. Go ahead and speed us up a bit. And we can get some more charge and do some more science in a bit. Yeah, there we go. Doesn't actually take that long. Okay. Science! Hmm. Is there any more goo left? Eh, we can do a little bit more goo. It's kind of a waste, really. Because there's so much more in the material bay. I really need to start bringing more material bays, you know? Hmm. Well, I'm going to do this for a little bit uh, longer, and uh, I'll get you on the other side. Hello, and we are now much closer to... Men mess. Where did I? There it is. Okay. We're going to start our final orbital insertion. I did do a quick burn, sort of halfway in, just to close the orbit about. This little baby is such, such a pain to sort of get going here. But I think it'll probably be a good landing practice, as they say. Now, should technically wait a little bit for further, but yeah. It's going to take almost no energy at all to loop this down like this. Yeah. We're now in a pretty, pretty tight orbit. Now, the question is, do I want to land? And if so, on what side of the planet, or planetoid, I think I want to land on the light side. So this is also a good opportunity. I'm actually going to not require all these rockets, which is kind of cool. So this is actually a very good design for getting a probe of this sort of s s setup to the outer planets. Yeah, I've been doing a lot of the materials bay. Don't worry about it. No, no pressures. That's good. We don't want pressure. All right, we're going to very lightly turn on the engines. No, 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 we want... Okay. That's good. We are now suborbital over Minmus. Now, do I want to adjust my landing area at all? Might be a good idea, since that sort of looks, I don't know, vaguely... Let's get the thing freaking oriented on axis there. There we go. Uh, it looks vaguely uh, slopish there, so I want to get a little bit maybe a flatter area. Don't think I can make it to one of those little seed dealios quite right. But maybe I can. So we're going to... Try to get over there. Now, I think... Oh, isn't that cute? It thinks we're in orbit. Whew. Gonna probably go ahead and toss this. Just 
tiny little fart, really, to get away, because we don't want to be running into that thing when we get by it. And you know, as long as we're floating away from it in general, we should be in good shape, because we will be changing our trajectory at some point here. Speaking of changing our trajectory, it's going to be a little bit more tricky now, since I don't have all the whirly gigs and things like that handy. Which I really should have turned around before disconnected, shouldn't I? Oh well. Hmm. Only 123 meters per second. That's barely acceptable for liftoff back on Kerbin. That's the miracle of planetoids, I guess. Now, we're going to go ahead and do our little legs out. Hooray! They are now ready for landing. Materials are good to go. Cool. Hmm. But at the very least, I got like another hundred some science out of this, so I can probably uh, unlock some of the lore-ish tier ones I still have to figure out. Uh, yes. So... I could turn some lights on, but I'm going a little bit for that. Let's go ahead and speed her up. So we can get a little bit more into the light so we can see how how we're doing here. Alright, we are 18 kilometers above the surface. Now this turning problem is kind of why I have the RCS fuel here. So I want to be able to turn quickly when I need to. Alright, let's speed her up a little bit more. Alright, we're going to need to start firing this engine, I think. RCS is fighting me. That's okay. We're just gonna see if we can uh, eliminate all our velocity until the thing jigs go away. Turn some lights on. This thing really needs more reaction wheels in it, I think. I stopped? Hooray, that means I'm going to be free-falling. I think. Yep, we're falling. Good, good, good. So, this is actually kind of delightful. I've never landed on Minmus before with anything. I could just find a nice happy medium. But yeah, I still have plenty of altitude. So I'll cut that off. Just let ourselves get into a little bit of a free fall. There we go. Another bit of altitude. Hmm. I'm a little worried about being in the shadow here. Hey, if we were over there, we'd be almost down already. Lights off. Lights on. Lights off. Lights on. Yeah, let's, let's set it there. Let's start our... A little bit of a burn to get rid of some of this velocity here. Because we are actually coming in pretty quickly now. Quickly now! 
Into the time vortex. You silly children. This is kind of peaceful, actually. Yeah, this is a terrible slope to be coming down on. Materials Bay, what you say? Ooh, send that home. Same with you, Goo. I want all the science. Oh, we actually have a temperature scan. Cool. We're close enough to do more science! And I'll go ahead and turn that off for now. We have about half our electrical energies left. Another one of those. So temperatures! Things! And heck, I might be able to get back to Kerbin with this, something like this here. Because space is easy. Heck, this might be easier to land on the moon, once you sort of get the orbits figured out. Another little bit of... slowing? I really don't like the fact that I can't see Jack all. There's no shadows. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. We got land, ground. And we're slowly hovering over. Alright, I want to bring this down. Slowly. Let's see if I can... Yeah, we want to sort of do that. So we don't want to be moving too much relative to the ground. We come in for a landing. Ooh, this is so exciting! Never done something like this before. It's crazy! I'll probably run out of RCS fuel. That would be sad. Ooh. This is going to be... I need a little bit more slowing. No, 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 don't go up. We want to not go that way. Well, we're hovering here, over this distant world. Science! <laughs> Whew. I feel like I'm not. Wait. So little can keep me from descending. <laughs> All right. Accelerating back down to the ground again. Keep my engine running slightly. What happens if I turn my lights off? Can't see Jackal! Because I have no idea how close that actually is. It's about yay close, okay. so weird. It's like not measuring my velocity correctly or something. Maybe it's because this is like a, a weird angle or something. I don't know. Hmm. It's like I'm sort of in orbit already. Alright, well, things will be a nice, gentle descendant. Just have to kind of keep flipping that on and off. And here we go. 
we have landed on Minmus. Holy crap, guys, this is amazing. I'm gonna turn off the lights. Welcome to another world. Ah, oh, it's pretty. That's so pretty. Science! Must be had. Holy crap. Uh, this process, we could turn your thoughts to how much Minmus looks like a mint desert. And have discovered that you are now hungry. <laughs> Alright. So, I'm going to probably call it here for the video. We have traveled to the distant world, Minmus. And our apoasis is having craziness issues. Until next time, everybody. Toodles, and do more science! Say science, I said all the science. I don't know. We'll go with that. Toodles!